You got it. <laughs> Brighton is feeding tiny dried figs to the ducks. <laughs> Very resourcefully with one arm. Here, there's a mushy apple. You can give that to either the cow or the pigs. Right. The skies have cleared, but the the creeks are still high from all the rain. The water is still just draining down off 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 the mountain slowly. These mountains, it's amazing to me. They absorb millions of gallons of water in in the organic matter and the leaves on top of the soil, but also just in the soil itself, and then slowly release it over days. <laughs> he won't get you. Don't worry. I almost forgot to give the pigs their food scraps and compost. We're not getting up right now, bud. Yeah. What Fine. did you say? Fine. Do you want to have two broken arms? <laughs> Do you want to have two broken arms? Well, he's been up there since. He even helped me feed the pigs up there the other week. He's not letting that broken arm slow him down one single bit. This is my very simple rainwater collection system that makes my job about uh, half the work watering the cows and the goats and I've got this really small plastic tub down here right below the gutter to this barn and so if there's any rain even a little bit this really quite large roof to this barn collects enough to just keep that bucket overflowing the other cool thing is when the water's frozen first thing in the morning, I can just get them enough to drink first thing in the morning and then any snow that's on top of that barn by about 10 in the morning will be melting and trickling and filling that with fresh water. So it just makes my job a lot easier to use this really simple um, system to catch the rainwater um, from that barn for the cow and the goats. Let's eat breakfast, guys. Good job, you got the fence plugged back in. Today is the last day that we're gonna have the puppy pack around. We gave away two, so we're down to seven, and today a couple people are showing up to take puppies home. This is Danielle, and she just drove how many hours? <laughs> uh, about seven and a half. Seven and a half hours to get a puppy? Yep. Which, is that the one you're gonna get? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. A, uh, a little boy, right? Yep, little boy. I think he's liking it. <laughs> he's liking the attention. Yes. Are you gonna take him inside? Yeah, he's gonna go inside and outside. Inside and outside. He's gonna have a happy life, I have a feeling. How do you think Sammy's gonna get along with the giant dog? <laughs> Sammy, one of well, Sammy's best dog. friends is uh -huh. a 150 pound Rottweiler. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> you can kind of call him a rescue, but it's because you're rescuing us. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're a rescue in reverse. That's right. I th and I think we're going to actually have, I think we're going to actually have people come get every one. Awesome. We haven't, we don't have the last one, the last like couple yeah. nailed down, but we're like moving. We have so many you. gifts that I think it'll work out. Yeah, a lot of people say, well, we want one. And then they're like, well, no, actually we don't. So. Yeah. But I have a lot of ifs in lines. So I think it's going to be okay. And that's why I needed another puppy, because <laughs> Dean wants to play with Sammy, and 80 pounds and 6 pounds don't tend oh, to work out. 6 so whole pounds. 6 whole pounds. 
<laughs> That's my funny. Niece came out more than. Yeah, none of my all my kids are more than six pounds. Yeah. <laughs> and another family came from South Carolina and they're getting a puppy and we were visiting. They're also YouTube uh, viewers and we're getting to know them. It's fun hearing about the projects they're doing and they've picked out a puppy. Our guests are gone and with them went two puppies and so the remainders are five puppies. Three of them are right here. Oh, four of them are right here. Where's your sister? Where's your sister at? Anyway, five puppies left, and the rest have gone to great homes. Danielle left some awesome gifts for our kids, including these little trucks and little jewelry box things for the girls that you paint, and the kids are having a great time painting them, right? Do this? Yeah. I tell you why I was, what, can I do something? Yeah. But yeah, my look at that. Look at my paint. You got your paint, you painted your what? hand. The other family that came from South Carolina has um, homesteading projects going on and we really enjoyed meeting them. They came up with their two daughters. We didn't film any while they were here. We sat down and had coffee together and had a nice afternoon visit before they all left to drive home. Mr. Wilder is sick. He has his first cold and he's playing with a toothbrush and a deer antler. Yep, yummy, yummy, yummy. Two more puppies gone. And we have lots more people coming over the next week to pick puppies up. So I feel like it's going really well. Um, I was really nervous about finding homes for nine puppies, but it turns out lots of people want puppies. So yes, thank you to all the families that have already come to pick your puppies up and we're excited that all of our puppies are finding really good homes. As you guys already know, Sassy was spayed about 10 days ago and we have been keeping her in the kitchen with us. Hi Sassy! Are you playing with your new truck? Nice. Nice. Here she is. She's doing really well. She has about four more days of being crated and then she'll be free to be a farm dog again. Grace has actually been such a superstar, um, making sure that Sassy gets walks every day and making sure that the puppies are just well taken care of. She has really impressed me with her level of responsibility with the puppies. I was just talking about how appreciative I am of you taking care of Sassy all this time. I heard the whole thing. <laughs> but you wanna know what? She's ready for a walk. She is pawing at the crate. Thank you, sweet girl. Come on, Sassy for us. She was pawing like she wanted to go out. Come on, Sassy. <laughs> Good girl. Aw, oh, stretch. Folks, thanks for joining us. This has been another great day on the homestead. We'll see you pretty soon. Might be two days.